Oh, hello. I was wondering if you could help straighten my viola bridge, please. Yes, I've been expecting you. Come on in. Yes, that would be lovely. I'll just get it out. I'm not going to be able to straighten that. I thought once you put a bridge on once, it should just last for a really long time. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to replace this bridge. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to have to replace it then. Well, I trust you, Olaf. So, um, can I just get your detail? Well, you might need to write this down. My name is Hubert Dunsley. That's right. With a D and a Y at the end. Okay, thanks. Uh, so, Hubert Dunsley. And your phone number, please? Oh, if you do need to reach me on the telephone, my number is 444 4442444442. Well, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Please hurry up. Please, please have it done as soon as you can. Goodbye. <sighs> this is something that happens all the time in a violin shop. And it's kind of sad because it's so preventable. You, you can see how bent the bridge is and it's just a matter of straightening it. Just come to my workbench and I'll show you. I'll just move this top plate out of the way. That's my new violin. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So when you get a new bridge, it should actually last between sort of 10 and 15 years, especially if you have a good quality bridge. I've even seen bridges that have lasted well over 30 years, you know, if they've been looked after. But the big trick is if there's a bit of a problem. So obviously the strings have a tension and uh, when you, uh, as you're tuning up here, the bridge just gets pulled very slowly. The top of the bridge gets pulled towards the fingerboard and it'll just get a lean. And it's a super simple, just once a week or even once a month to check the bridge and straighten it. But if you don't do that, the bridge will actually start leaning and it'll sit off. So you have a bridge, um, this, this is obviously a freshly fitted bridge, and after a while it'll just start leaning. And when it leans, the rest of the bridge just wants to straighten up again, like it, it wants the feet to come down. So the only thing they can give here is that, you know, as the feet come back down straight, the rest of the bridge just bends. And the more the humidity in the air at the time, the quicker the bridge will bend because in a humid environment, timber turns just a little bit more spongy and it'll actually bend a little bit easier. So there's a very simple thing you can do and I've posted a few videos on how to do it, but I'll actually show you again just to make sure. So today I'm actually gonna show this on a violin a viol Actually, I'll show it on a viola because viola and violins are the same and I'll also show it on a cello. So here's one of my beautiful Ziado violas and uh, and I've actually, you can see, I've actually made the bridge slightly crooked. Now the quickest way you can find out whether the bridge is straight is to, help, uh, to put something with a right angle up against uh, against the base here and then you try and line up the bridge. Can you see how crooked the bridge is? And so then the next step is all you have to do is straighten it. Now it sounds really simple but it is a bit scary especially with on a violin you've got the 27 kilos which is close to 50 pounds bearing down onto the instrument so it, it can be a bit scary one of the things i do i do make sure that there are there's some graphite uh, so a bit of pencil in the string grooves okay so first thing you do is you put your instrument on your lap 
So you have your instrument on your lap, then you hook, um, like I usually just hook the middle fingers, one side on the fingerboard, the other side on the tailpiece, and then I push my thumbs together. And now when you push your thumbs together, you should be able to move the bridge relatively easily. Can you see how easily it moves? Now, the great thing is about pushing the thumbs together, there's no chance of the bridge falling over. Some people also pinch a string, like they'll, they'll pinch a string to get some movement. I just worry a little bit about the string, what it can do to the string. So my method, I really like my method for just firstly keeping the bridge very safe that it can't fall over. So if you push it with one side, the whole bridge can actually tip over. And that would be really scary. Now that, that viola that I showed before, the bridge is so crooked, it is literally about to collapse. Okay, here it is, and you can see, look at, look at that angle, like it's supposed to be at a right angle. And it is so bent that it's literally about to fully collapse. And uh, that's, that's scary because firstly, when it collapses, it can either snap but it can also actually cause some cracks and things on the top plate. So this is, you know, this has gotten really bad. And I think the player just hasn't played it for a while and uh, they had a lot of humidity. So, um, you know, it was a bit of a surprise to, to the player and the teacher. But, um, and these things happen. Um, but you can prevent this by just keeping your bridge straight. Um, I'll also show you what to do on a cello now. So this is one of my beautiful Lombardi cellos. Um, again, you literally just put the cello on your lap like this. Again, this time you don't, it's not the middle finger, you grab your whole hand and one hand goes up against the fingerboard, the other hand goes up against the tailpiece and you push together uh, yeah, you push to straighten the bridge. Now this one isn't crooked actually, but I'll show you how I can move it. So it wasn't crooked in the first place. But again, similar situation with a cello. Again, use, um, you know, I've got a little square that I can use. Where are we? There, it is actually slightly crooked. Uh, the, one of the better things to use is actually business cards. I know who has business cards anymore, but you know, in case you have one, that's a nice square thing to use. I'll grab one now. Now a guy came past and brought me this lovely tree lopping card. So it's gonna come to very good use now. And uh, so you put, you put a business card on the side here. So you want this, uh, you want the bridge to be at a right angle to the base, like the edges of the top plate. So you put a card, business card on the edge. Let's probably put it a bit more here. For a cello, you might need something a bit bigger. Line it up. You can actually see that it's it's got a slight lean. So I'm gonna just push it back gently. There we go. There we go. Now, how's that looking? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's looking much better already. Now, putting graphite in the strings, it's a very simple process. I'll just show you on the cello. So you just take one string down at a time and lift it off. There we go. Then you get a pencil and you literally get the pencil and you color the groove in with pencil. Try and make sure that you don't draw all over the bridge with a pencil. I, I really don't like it. It's just not very pretty. Um, so anyway, I've got my beautiful Lombardi cello. Uh, I've got the bridge straight again. It was kind of straight, actually. It didn't really need to be straightened. So it's very simple. Um, I would check the bridge once a week. If it's crooked, straighten it straight away. If you're a little bit scared, you can actually tune down just one note. So if one note, just one note, and then straighten the bridge and then tune it back up one note. Uh, yes, and that's pretty much it. So it's a very simple thing, but it can save you hundreds of dollars and actually even more in first you're replacing a bridge. But if a bridge was to fall over and cause a crack, that would be a major repair. 
Um, anyway, look after your instrument, look after your bridge. Uh, I'll be working on this other viola and getting that finished. And uh, look, if you like, if you think my videos are helpful, uh, I try and support the string community with information. So subscribe, press press subscribe and hit the like button. Also hit the little bell because when you hit the little bell, you'll find out as soon as I post another video. All right, thanks guys. See you next time.